welcome to Blind Date, your dating show with a blinding twist. Each week, Zed Cupid looks around Lusaka in search for individuals looking for something a little more than friendship. Yep, we're talking about love. This week, we've got a couple of individuals who are looking for just that. Let's meet them. First up is Chileshi. She loves to read and go to new places. Chileshe is looking for a loyal and trustworthy man. Hmm. Um, my phone is uh, Chileshe Tembo. Um, initially, I enjoy reading. I love music. Um, I love adventure. Exploring to know different places, how they look. Yeah. Um, I want someone who's trustful. You know, um, someone who's loyal. Someone who's understanding, um, a good looking person, obviously. Um, yeah, pretty much those are the major things. Um, <laughs> company, yes. Uh, yeah, someone to be with, someone to love with. Yes. I guess we all need somebody. Next up is Weeza. She is looking for a funny, outdoorsy man who is independent. Um, my name is Awiza Mulanga Naulapwa. And what I'd like, um, not really sure, but I love food. I'm a foodie and I enjoy watching movies and also outdoor activities. Yeah. I, I want somebody who is Who's nice? Somebody who's funny, loves outdoor activities, traveling and stuff like that. Somebody who's, you know, just depends on himself and nobody else. And yeah, I don't know. Kind, somebody who's kind. And yeah. Uh, I don't like guys who are liars. Thickness, I'm not up to that. Now for the man of the hour, Elias. He is a journalist. Elias Asakira Gelo Adinanzelu and also God fearing. However, he hates tattoo. Okay, my full names are Elias Mlinga, commonly known as uh, Ali Kubo Elido. I'm uh, a journalist by profession and I'm an upcoming artist. Ah, some months. Okay, let me say, yeah. A woman. Uh, I think she must be God fearing first, hard working, uh, smart, and when I say smart, I mean she must have uh, at least the brains to articulate one or two things. And, um, with the caves, the body, I don't really pay attention to that. But I think she, she must be beautiful. I think tattoos. I don't love tattoos. Uh, there was a time I was in a relationship with a Get what a tattoo, and after I discovered, I decided to cut the relationship because I've never been a fan of tattoos. Okay, the pleasantries out of the way. Let's take a look at date number one. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm alright. How are you? I'm all good. So, uh, what made you decide to be on the blind date? Well, I just wanted to try out something new and. You know, just get to know a person out of my circle, not somebody I know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a bit weird, you know, um, but you can tell to say, okay, this is going to work out with this particular person, depending on how you, you relate with the conversation. So that's a good part about it. I found it really weird. Like, I like to look at people and then me not seeing them just felt really strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old are you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, I just want to know. I'm 20 something. What? 20 what? I'm 27. Oh, okay. How old are you? I'm 22. 22? Yes. Oh, okay. What? Uh, nothing. Mm, no. 22, she's all grown. Yeah, 22 is all good. Um, I'm okay with it. Um, mostly I go up to 30. So it's 
It's a perfect age. Uh, yeah, somebody way older than me. I think it's a good thing. I don't want somebody who's younger or somebody who's almost my age. Yeah, so late twenties is fine. I've just haven't had um, mm -hmm. something in someone younger than me. Oh really? Yeah, like so, um, I don't know. I just find people younger than me to be troublesome or something. Oh my god! Yeah, so I think I would want to try out with someone who's younger than me. I think it's a good thing yeah. to try out something new. You yeah. just never know. Maybe. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's it's normal. Maybe he finds them more mature than the younger ones. So that's his style, I guess. Mm. Okay, I find people are younger than me a bit immature or something. Okay, I understand that uh, women do mature fast, but at the end of the day, um, I'm just obsessed. I don't, have a, I don't have a reason why I love to date people who are older than me. It's just something that I enjoy doing. So how many guys have you dated? Uh, too many to count, really. Don't judge me, but, you know, if it doesn't work out, you literally just try out the next person. Body count? Uh, that's too personal. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I need to know. Like, it's very important in a relationship. Yeah, but maybe if... I don't know. You choose me or something, maybe I'll be able to tell you. But right now, no. <laughs> right now, I can't. You won't ask me? And you? How many people have you dated? The body uh, count? Uh, I've dated quite a number. I think I can count. There are a lot. But body counts, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't believe it. I honestly don't. For the fact that he's, he dates girls who are older than him, definitely don't believe that. Since I'm a virgin, so I don't believe in sex before marriage. <laughs> That's actually my next question. Uh, you mentioned you're a virgin. So, <laughs> is it a real thing or just throwing? No, 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 it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. No, it's not. It's not everybody that you date, you're going to sleep with them. So I have dated guys and it's not everybody I slept with. So, yeah. So I've just been single for a few weeks. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, you won't get back with your ex? No, I won't. Why? If I was going to, I wouldn't be here. Right? <laughs> it, 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 it's been weeks. Yeah. And maybe one day you would decide to come back. What are you going to do? Uh, it's a 50-50. <laughs> Elias, my guy, extra points for you. Let's see how you do in date number two. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. How's been your day? Not bad. How's been your Great. Can't complain. Okay, that's nice. Um, tell me more about yourself. Okay, I'm Chileisha Tembo okay. from Chalala. Okay. Um, I'm an open-minded person. Um, I don't keep. Okay, I I do keep secrets, but <laughs> I'm not good at them. I think isn't that the nature of women? Like women are are just like that, you know. So I'm 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 cool with it. Depends with the types of secrets uh, she 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 hides. That's where the challenge is. But it's not a big deal. Do you drink? <laughs> Uh, yes, I do. Okay, because I also love drinking. What do you drink? Uh, anything alcoholic. <laughs> I don't want to advertise, but I love black label. Okay, and I only take wine. Uh, that one, I'm not so sure about it. How old are you? I'm 20. Ah. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 27. Oh, okay, that's good. Even better. Like, I really need to have somebody I can nature. <laughs> 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 like somebody can teach how to love. Um, it's a good age. <laughs> it's okay. For me, it's okay. How many people have you dated? Three. Um, how I many have you dated? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, it's so unusual. You know, someone has to know um, the people that he's dated. Not a problem, but I'm sure he at least must know how many he's dated. You, you don't mind telling me your body count? And um, I would mind telling you. <laughs> uh, that's personal. You know, I just can't say it. 
to anybody who asks me now. I have to say to someone who I'm comfortable with and someone who I really know. I would love to be on a date with you. I would love that too. Okay, and you are certain that it would, it would work out? Sure, it would. We'll get to love each other. Yes. What would you want hopefully. to see in a man? Um, a man like me, who's on a blind date. <laughs> you mean the physical features or...? Physical features, of course. Okay, um, I'm, I'm not really certain about the body structure, like if you're chubby or you're slim, I'm okay with it. Um, your color, I'm also okay with it, whether you're light or dark. Okay. I wouldn't have a problem with it. So, uh, yeah, anything, anything. Um, so, apparently, you can date anything? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> anything breathing and talking. Uh, I think we were just joking, like she said uh, she doesn't care whether the guy is dark skinned, light, like all she wants is love. So if she needs love, we'll probably give her the, the love she needs. So there's no problem about that. So when did you lose your relationship? When I lost my relationship, mm. like six months ago. Okay. Why did you break up with your spouse? Um, we're just not compatible. <laughs> What? Maybe he had things that I also possess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to know. Like what he was, really cuts? He's so insecure. You know, he's and I'm he's, very he's, insecure. I'm I'm a very sensitive person too, but um he just he just used to be too much. He used to think I'm cheating on him. Even if I'm and you never him. did? No, I never did. Are I was you sure? very honest with him. You're from Osaka? Yes. And you never cheated on him? Yes. Are you sure? I'm very sure. <laughs> Oh, you won't cheat on me. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Okay. I'm a good girl, don't worry. I'm a good guy, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was only asking, in Lusaka, I didn't say Lusaka people cheat. I just wanted to be specific, said in Lusaka, like you need a real thing. Okay, we all know that um, in our era, like in our generation, there are few things that work out in terms of relationships. Like, uh, people only want to be with you when it's beneficial. Like, you're a guy, you can manage to pay her rentals, you can feed her and stuff, she'll be there for you. But uh, just something that you can say, okay, this is love. In Lusaka, I don't say people in Lusaka cheat, but we all know. We have a lot of people who are playing in Lusaka. They don't take relationships serious. That's what I was trying to say. Not like uh, people, they do cheat, okay? Let me just, I don't want to beat around the bush. Like, in Lusaka, we are playing. There are a lot of people who are playing. Yeah, so like, if you want something real, you need to be serious. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't cheating. I didn't lie about it. I wasn't cheating. Just broke up. Not because I cheated or something, no. I was not cheating. Beautiful, beautiful. After the break, Elias gets to pick who he would like to take on a second date. Now this date is where he will finally get to see one of these females, so it's going to be something. Stick around. Elias will now get to pick between Chileshe and Weezer. So, who is it going to be, my guy? Okay, so the reason is that person has been single for six months. And uh, that can tell me to say she's moved on. Unlike the other one who's been single for weeks. You know, it's, it's debatable. You know, the same guy is a papa. Then you don't know what will happen next. So, I think that's the reason. Day two, because day two has been single for a while. Six months is half a year. So I think we can start something new. Mm, I'm certain about that. Congratulations, Chileshe. You get to go on a second date with Elias. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm all good. You look nice. Thank you. I'm like, oh, <laughs> is this the person I was talking to? <laughs> you know, I had a... a, a um, a different feature, you know, <laughs> from his voice, I thought it was, you know, someone different from what I came to see. Mm, I didn't expect to see her. Like, uh, I never pictured uh, that she would look like that. Yeah, forgotten the name. Okay. Okay, 
um, elas mleng um, ali kubo okay. <laughs> i love what i see Pardon? i think i love what i'm getting to see oh really That's yeah good. Uh, my decision was right ah. <laughs> hope you are impressed too um what are you doubting uh, no i wasn't so sure you're not sure no how why because i hadn't seen you so obviously no yeah okay um not his face <laughs> Okay, okay. If everything is okay, but not the appearance of him was not what I thought. It just came out different. <laughs> mm, something less, but I was impressed. Yeah. He actually told me you have so many girlfriends. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the ones I've dated. Your ex-girlfriend. Oh yeah. How many? Um. Okay, like it. I haven't like. Uh, I wouldn't consider it. Uh, you know, there are some relationships that I don't consider to be relationships. Like those I had when I was young. So like the people that I've dated in my like uh, youth age, I think I would say seven. Okay. Yeah. You, the number is just the same? Yeah, it's just the same. Okay. So what's, what's your body count? <laughs> didn't you talk about that? It, it, I thought I, I told you I'm a virgin. No, you didn't tell me that. Serious? No. Oh, okay. My body, I'm a virgin. Lie. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. He can't have as many girlfriends as he can that he can't remember how many he had and tell me he's a virgin. Uh, that's a lie. Uh, that, on that part, I don't believe it. Uh, I don't believe it. My body counts. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wouldn't tell you. Why? I'll, but I'm just from telling you. When I know you better, I'll oh. tell you my body counts. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So, yeah, do you have a job currently? No. Currently, I just hustle. Um, I do fashion styling. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I was working with uh, this guy called Harris Nation. Uh -huh. So I worked with him for like two or three years. Okay. Um, that's good. That's a very, very good step to take. That's a very nice thing. I think he's, he's, he's focused in what he wants and what he wants to do. Uh, the experience to work with him. It was all good. I think I learned a lot, uh, especially something to do with uh, fashion and styling. And so I really enjoyed working with Harris. Where do you stay? McKen 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 Yeah. Okay. Do you eat Chalala? Yes. No. Uh, since we're both in Lusaka, and uh, it's near. It's not, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. How many siblings do you have? I'm the last born in the family of four. Okay. <laughs> Mama's boy. <laughs> okay, uh, not everyone's like that. Not everyone's like that, but um last born is difficult. But but not everyone is like that. Some they're different. Some are, some are not so I'm not sure about him if he plus he lives with his mom, so I don't know if he's you know. But it's okay. It's good that he's the last one. I wasn't going to mind whether he's the first or last or first to last. It's okay. So, like, did you tell me what really cuts, like, uh, with your ex-boyfriend? You told me. Yeah, I told you that. You're he not was compatible and stuff. No, yeah, he was so insecure and all that. Is that the reason to break up with someone? Because I feel like when you're in, you you are insecure because you love. He someone. actually he was the one that broke up with me because oh. of his insecurities and everything. So. Yeah. How did you handle your breakup? Um, <laughs> um, I think I, I had mixed feelings though Depression. at the time. No, I wasn't depressed. Mm. I was just myself. I accepted it. Okay. For like for how long? Um, how long did you fight it? Not for a very long time. Um, less than a month. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. <laughs> less than a month. You really loved him. I did, yeah, I did. Because me, I was once in a relationship that took me like um, a year to get over okay. it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, and by then I was in school. So that's the reason why I've been scared to love. Mm -hmm. Because you may find you're in a relationship with when someone. When was your last relationship? Uh, I think a year ago. Okay. 
So since then you've not dated anyone? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's very hard. It's very hard, especially when you love them. It's very, very hard. Uh, it was hell for me because I couldn't concentrate on my studies. I couldn't concentrate on a lot of things I was doing. That's, that's where the problem was. So it was, it was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, it is. If it was very serious, it's very hard to let go. Like, you keep the person in your mind for a very long time. But it depends, okay, it depends on the kind of person you are. You know, some people are they easily let go even if they were very hurt. So, yeah. I told myself I'll never date, like I'll never involve myself in a relationship because I was broken, like broken. I couldn't think of anything else apart from alcohol. Okay, so you're an addict to alcohol? Not really, I just love alcohol, but I'm not addicted to it. Do like I can stay without alcohol. Okay, do you drink every day? Uh, it depends. Uh, the time I was working, I never used to drink because I had work to do. So if I'm doing nothing, I drink. Yeah. But not like drinking every day. But I drink, but not every day. Like in a week, like twice a week. You drink? Yeah, I do. I think so. <laughs> I think he loves alcohol way too much. What makes him say Because um, from the way he came out saying, um, when he used to work, he never used to have time to drink, but now since he's not working, he can drink almost every day. Get so, which means even he can do to that he has or whatever he finds, he drinks. Okay, so yeah, I think he's too much into alcohol. Okay, a person should drink, but not way too much, you know, over the limit. Drinking is normal, I take alcohol as well, but shouldn't over exceed, you know, it should just be okay. No. It's not a problem. I can consider it a problem if like I go a day without drinking, I feel some type of way. But it's something that I can stay without for, for a long time. Yeah, so it's not it's not a problem. I I wouldn't call it a problem. You go clubbing? Yes I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> you don't clap. Uh I do but the only problem is that club. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the problem is. So like, uh, it, it mostly because I am an artist. So like, when I just perform, I go home. Mm. Clubbing, I think Vinan can go. I love to chill. Like I'm just with friends. We're drinking. Because when I, it, it happens when you want to go home. Maybe the person you're with still wants to club, and then over at like you're tired, you want to go sleep. So maybe you're far. That's the only thing I hate about clubbing. But if there's loud music, I don't think you can sleep unless you can drunk. When I'm drunk, like, I, I really enjoy sleeping. Uh, okay, clubbing and performing, they are two different things. Like, performing, I'm doing something I love. But clubbing, I'm just in a, you know. So for me, I, I, I feel lazy to be in a, a lot of people, like clubbing. Maybe I'm performing, I'm singing for them, yes. But not as in me drinking in front of people, dancing. Uh, maybe if it has to pay me, I need to sing for them, dance on stage. Yes, when I'm done, I go home. You don't look your age. How old do I look? Maybe 25, 26, I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Serious? <laughs> no. You're 20. Uh -huh. mm, okay. I never thought I would find um, an interesting conversation with somebody who's in the early 20s. Like the way you, you talk, the way you articulate issues, the way you look. I think I'm getting to like it. Ah. Yeah. So I look 25, 24, 25. Yeah, 24. No, 25, 26, somewhere. You look my age, in short. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said you're 27? Mm, yeah, I'm 27. She looks 25, 26, somewhere there. I don't know. I'm more near that. So, yeah, I think she looks, she looks my age. 20 is too. Uh, and 20. Uh, I don't know, but to me, that's debatable. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Ah, I don't, I don't see myself looking 25, so if you see me as though I look 25, then I don't know why. 
and how he sees me 25 and I, I think he thinks I'm lying because I said I'm 20 so I don't know about that one yeah kind of I think she was she wasn't uh, saying the truth about her age um, no no I don't really find it offensive you know it's okay. You, he didn't know my age, so he approximately after he saw me, he thought I was 25. So hmm, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, we're in 2021. Okay, I'm 27. I'll be turning 28 this year. Oh, okay. when's your birthday? 4th of August. Mm, how about you? 29 September. So, um, would you like to go on a second date with me? Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I, you know? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Mm -mm. I, I don't know. Why don't you know? You need to know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not. Okay. Yes, maybe okay. not. I'm cool with it. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Because I did like him. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like him, just didn't connect me with him. I didn't see myself on another date with him. So that's the reason I said no. But if I did like him, if I liked him, and everything would have said yes, but he just didn't match me. And yeah, everything, and I just didn't like everything about him. She's 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 nice. She's young. She has a bright uh, brighter future ahead of her. So I wouldn't like force her to go on another date. Like if you don't like someone, it's normal. Like if she doesn't feel like going on another date with me, it's very normal. And uh, I wouldn't feel some type of way about it because So it's something that I should understand. Say, oh, okay, she doesn't want to go on another date, then that's all. Yeah. It's not really a big deal, yeah. Ish, 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 ish. Well, Zed Cupid will try again and next time. You want to go on a blind date? Send a message to the number on your screen and Zed Cupid will find you.